Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here. Today we're going to talk about my Ruger Security 6 that I just picked up. Now I picked this gun off of Gun Broker. Um, it was uh, a pawn shop down in Florida. It was selling it for $449, and uh, I thought that was a really good deal. Now the pawn shop itself had some a few bad reviews, um, but I decided to take a chance on it, and it kind of came back to bite me because they for whatever reason, accidentally sent my gun over uh, up to Oregon, uh, Salem, Oregon. And I, I live in Missouri, so Salem, Oregon is way far away. So they sent it all the way across the country, and I had to wait another week for them to send it all the way back to Florida instead of them just sending it to my dealer. I don't know why, what the deal is with that. Maybe there's some laws regarding that. I don't know. But they sent it all the way back to Florida so that Florida can send it all the way to me. So I sent, you know, I spent an extra week basically waiting for my gun. And when it got here, they sent the wrong, they either sent the wrong paperwork, like the wrong receipt, or they just put it, the wrong serial number on the paperwork. Like they, like they had a couple of security sixes and they put the wrong serial number on the wrong paperwork. I don't know. Um, so my FFL dealer had to, you know, work some stuff out whenever they got it in. Um, they did send this free holster. Um, which doesn't even fit the gun and you know the the strap I don't really understand this holster so the strap goes where the trigger guard is instead of uh, where I would naturally think it would go which would be over where the hammer is um, it's not long enough to go that way and it's not angled that way so I don't really know um, I don't understand this holster at all so I mean it's free you know maybe I can get it to work with another gun but I don't know it's not gonna work for this gun but uh, here's the Ruger Security 6 that I got, and uh, I actually do kind of like it. It is a 4-inch stainless steel model, um, and it has these rubber Packmire-esque grips. I'm not sure if they're actually Packmire or if they're like a Packmire knockoff. Um, I did order some wood grips um, from a semi-sketchy website the other night and supposedly they already shipped and I have tracking information so hopefully they'll show up um, but they I think they look a lot better than this so I can't wait to get those and get those on um, so the Ruger Security 6 was made from the early 70s like 1972 or 73 all the way up to 1988 and it was replaced by the GP100 the thing I like about the Security 6 is it does have a full grip frame. Now, it's hard to see with this type of grip on it, but the, you actually have a full grip frame versus just a tang. Um, and I might, I might throw up a, a picture right here just to illustrate that. Anyway, um, the Security 6 was actually one of three... Uh, models in the I guess 6 series so you had the security 6 which had the um, adjustable sights and then you had the service 6 which was the same gun just with a, f a fixed sight system and then there was a um, a speed 6 which was basically a service 6 with a rounded butt so um, the the main two revolvers had a squared off butt um, but grip frame and the speed six has just a little bit of a rounded um, edge down there not a whole lot of difference also the security six came in four inch six inch and two and three quarter inch barrel lengths the service six i think came in four and two and three quarters i'm not sure if it came in the six i don't think so i've never seen one and then the speed six i think came in the two and three quarter and three inch, maybe it came with four inch. I'm not really 100% sure. I don't know a whole lot about speed sixes, but um, you know, all three models I think are really good quality Ruger revolvers. Um, you know, these things are just built like tanks. And so a Ruger um, for the cylinder release, it's, it's just a button. Um, and you just push it in and flip the cylinder out. And of course you have your ejector rod here. And all that works really well, so I'm happy about that. Um, the double action works pretty good. Um, it's fairly smooth, actually, I think, anyway. Uh, single action works, so it's not like my Smith & Wesson Model 10. Um, I may do a video comparing these two revolvers, 
um, at some point. I know that's not exactly apples to apples, but um, they're probably the two, you know, that's probably the closest revolver that I have. Um, so what else? Um, I do have, you know, the wood grips coming, so that'll be nice. I do need to get some of this rust off, so it does have a little bit of rust here and there, and, um, you know, a little bit on the uh, muzzle, um, some on the sight. Um, so I need to take this gun completely apart and take... Um, try to get all the rust off. Um, another thing is the um, sight itself. The front sight is loose, like it wiggles. And if I can get the camera to focus better. So if you look here, you know, it, it just kind of wiggles like it was dropped at some point. So I do, I did find a company that. Um, you know, for like 50 or $60, they can like custom make me a sight and uh, they can send it to me and I can have it fitted to the gun. Or another option is I can take the sight off, um, put some epoxy in there and put it back on, throw the roll pin back on and it would at least um, make it sturdy. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna go that route or the other route. It really depends on if I get all the rust off of the sight itself. Um, not really a whole lot else I can say about this gun. Of course, this is the 4-inch stainless model. They did come in uh, blued, and I think like the service sixes or something, um, you know, some of them that were like specifically made for law enforcement, um, I think had a parkerized finish, but don't quote me on that. Um, and the calibers that these were offered in were 357, which is what most of them are, and it's what this one is. Um, so 357 Magnum. Uh, some of the service sixes, I believe, were in 38 Special. Um, and then there were like a select few that were in 38 Smith and Wesson, and I think some were even in 9 millimeter. So you know that's kind of cool. If you ever find one of those for a good price, I'm sure they'll be more expensive. Uh, than a 357 Magnum, but hey, if you can find one, you know, probably be a little bit of a collector's item these days, um, because these aren't exactly cheap anymore like they used to be. Um, this one was 449, and it was the cheapest one on Gunbroker, um, probably because of the sight um, being broken and rusted. But you know, 449, I thought that was a pretty good deal. I've wanted one of these for a long, long time. Um, and I just never got one because they never, I could never find one for a good deal when I had the money to get one. Um, and when there, when I did find a good deal, I didn't have the money. So, um, it's been a long, you know, I've been wanting one of these for a long, long time. And I finally got one, um, has a few issues that I need to work out, but I think I'll be able to work everything out and I uh, think it'll be a good gun. It'll be a good woods gun. Um, could be a good hunting gun. And, uh, yeah, so... Um, I don't think there's really much else I can say about this revolver. I, I really like it. it. It is pretty accurate, even with that, that front sight being messed up. I was able to shoot some empty shotgun shells with it um, with ease. And, uh, you know, it doesn't have a whole lot of kick because it is pretty heavy. It's a big, heavy revolver. Um, not as heavy as a GP100, but it is a, still a pretty big, heavy revolver. So it definitely tames that recoil. And... Um, compared to a GP100, um, I just think this is a much better revolver. This is my favorite. <clears throat> this is my favorite um, revolver design. Um, the GP100s have that full length underlug, and a lot of the the new Smith and Wessons have that full length underlug. I don't like that. I like it where it um, it's just you know goes past the ejector rod. I don't like it where it goes all the way. I think I just think that's ugly. That's just my opinion. Um, but yeah. I think it's a good looking revolver. I think it's a good shooter. I think it would be a good woods gun, um, a good hunting gun, and uh, I'm just really, really excited about it. I can't wait to get it out and shoot it some more. So anyway, that's my uh, Ruger Security 6. Um, subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14, and until next time, be safe.